Thomas Incorporated. Right? Okay. So if this is your business, then I want I want to ask you this question. If this is your business, who are your employees? Anybody? If your if this is your business, for me, Thomas Incorporated, what's my employees? You and your wife to start with. Me and my wife to start with, okay. That's good. Anybody else? Why don't you give a shot start at with God. Okay. Me and my wife and God. Anybody want to throw anything out there? I, I would say money. Brother Mark, that's, that, that's the answer right there. Yeah. Your income is your employees. Those are your employees. Your income. Now here's the thing. With your income being your employees at your company, for any company to expand, for any company to grow, for any company to flourish, you got to have what? You got to have employees. And not only do you have to have employees, but you got to have good employees. <laughs> you got to have employees that gonna, are going to dutifully, dutifully carry out the vision that you've set for those employees. If you don't have employees that dutifully carry out the vision that you've set for your company, your company will not be able to grow and flourish. Now, when we're looking at this according to our own personal life, if we say that Thomas Inc., whatever your last name is, incorporated, and your money is your income, if you're looking at it from that perspective, what you do with your income determines how much your company is going to grow, how much your financial life, how, how, how much is going to grow, okay? And you have to recognize that every dollar you get, what you want to do is you want to make it work for you. You want to make it to where that dollar is getting other employees for you. One of, the, one of the models that I've kind of adopted, and you can adopt it if you want, you cannot, but this is kind of like a baseline for me, is this is where I want to be. Living, living expenses, and all. Living expenses and all that. Okay. Ten percent is anytime I get paid, what I want to do, and I've adopted this model for myself. Anytime I get paid, 10% of that money, I take out and I put it in the savings account. And I don't ever touch it. I don't ever touch it. The reason why I'm doing that is because what I recognize is that this 10% is my fortune. This 10% right here is what I'm using this is my seed money. This is the money that I'm going to use to eventually invest that's going to start that $50 million I was talking about. Right? But most people, what they do is, they'll do this, but then they're going to go get a TV. <laughs> so what you've just done is, you fired a lot of your employees. <laughs> you let them go. You laid them off. You said, we no longer need you. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. And when we're talking about focus, remember we was talking about focus earlier ago, you know, an advertiser's goal is to get you to focus on their product. Yeah. 
Because if they know if they can get you to, 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 to take your focus off of your bottom line, your bottom line, if they can get you to take your focus off your bottom line, focusing on that, and, and, and getting your, your employees to work hard for you, and you, they can get you to invest your money in their company by buying their product, that's, we won. We, we've, done what we, we've done successfully. Our advertisement has done successfully what we started out to do. And so many people, they take that 10, they might take 10% out or a set amount. It might not be 10%. For me, it's always going to be 10%. Now, it could be more than that, but it's the, that's, the, that's the minimum it's going to be. I'm not dropping it below that minimum. I'm going to take 10% out. So if I get $3 million, I'm taking 10% out, and it's going to be my fortune fund. Okay? It's going to be my fortune fund, no matter what. Myself and Tiffany, every time we get paid, we got pocket cash that we give ourselves. You know, we got, we got pocket cash that we I take 10% out of my pocket cash. I don't care who, if you give me some money, I'm taking 10% out of it and I'm putting it in this fortune fund. I, if, you, if you walk up to me right now, Apostle Shirley, and gave me $100, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> but if you, if you was to do that, I would take $10 out. And I will put it up. Amen. And I'm not touching it. And when it started building to the point where, man, that, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Because, it, because remember I told y'all I was doing this before, and that's how that farm was building. Remember I was mm -hmm. telling y'all about this last mm -hmm. Sunday? And uh, it started building real fast. And we had to do something with it, right? But when it starts building, I'm not going to look at all of the different things I can buy mm -hmm. and consume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? There's gonna be some tough. There's gonna be some things out there. I'm looking at like, man, you know what? Sure, I'll see it, mm -hmm. but very quickly I'm gonna snap back. This is my invest. This is my fortune fund. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. This is what. This is my seed money to start my fortune. Mm -hmm. And so many times people will take out, you know, whether it's a set amount or it's ten percent or whatever, they'll take that out, but they won't use it to invest. I'm not saving to consume. I'm saving to invest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 10% my fortune fund. 10% is, of course, you know, we, people say tithing. So I'll use that for tithing. Now that's the minimum, of course. You know, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that it can't be more than that because it can. You give according to how you know what God says. But that's a baseline for me, okay? And then 10%, I'm doing nothing with it. Remember how we was talking about building your checking account? So that your checking account won't just have money in it on payday, mm -hmm. you know. So, so of course, then now I got these in this order, but it's just in, not in order of an importance or anything. Just in this particular order, and then this is nothing. I'm not gonna do anything with that. So if we got a thousand dollars. If we got a thousand dollars, seventy percent of it, or seven hundred dollars, needs to cover all of my expenses. Entertainment, gas, food, groceries, uh, everything. Okay. Now, if you're not at that point where you can, 70% of your income can cover all of your expenses, that can be a goal for you. Okay. That can be a goal for you. Get to the point where 70% of your income can cover all of your expenses. So that 30% can be because most people work for many companies, not just one. Mm -hmm. Most people work for the bank, mm -hmm. then they work for the company they actually get money from, mm -hmm. then they work for the car pl place who gave them their car, then they work for, and they work for all mm -hmm. of these different companies, mm -hmm. but they never do anything to build their own company. Mm -hmm. So 70% cover your living expenses, mm -hmm. the 10% is your fortune fund, 10% of course goes to God, that's the minimum. It can be more than that, I'm just saying the 10% for as a baseline, mm -hmm. you know. And then 10%, you ain't doing nothing with it. You, 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 you saving that, and when I say nothing, what I mean is, I'm not saying you're not, you're not doing anything with it, it's in the bank. And what you're doing is you're trying to build your checking account. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, myself and Tiffany said, one of our goals was we want to have a minimum checking account balance uh, of we said this is the minimum of five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. We don't want us to drop below that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this helps. This helps that process. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so if you at if you at the point right now where seventy percent of your living expenses, I mean 